Hey internet, Eric here. Uh, well, if it is Sunday and I have a video for you guys, then that means it's bloody Sunday. Um, it's been a while since I've done original content here on the channel. Um, I've just been so busy with work and life, like everybody. And lately, just to get content pumping out, I've been uploading old, thought to be lost videos of me on the Whitey the White Guy show. Long story, I hope you've enjoyed those older reviews that were on his channel that I've now uploaded here. Anyways, what Bloody Sunday is, it's a concept created by Corey over at King Need Gore. And what it is, is you take a death from a movie, TV show, any type of medium, make a video about it. That's it. So obviously, if I'm discussing a death in a film, I'm discussing plot spoilers and all that jazz. Well, I'm talking about an 80s ultra-violent classic today. The death I'm going to talk about comes from Robocop. Now, like I said, obvious spoilers, what have you. The death I'm going to talk about is probably, if it's not Alex Murphy's death that causes him to turn into Robocop, the most memorable death is probably Emil. Now, Emil is played by, what the fuck is his name? I don't know, off the top of my head. But he is also, he was the asshole doctor on ER who had his hand chopped off by the helicopter and then was crushed by a helicopter. Well, Emil is one of the, not necessarily gang members, but one of the villains that kills Alex Murphy in the beginning of the movie and causes him to become Robocop. And this is the, the climax of the film. Robocop has taken out every single one of Clarence Boddicker's gang members, gang members, mem whatever, his, his crew. And Emil, behind the wheel of a van, they're at a construct, not really a construction site, but like an abandoned warehouse, boiler room, Freddy Krueger type looking place. And um, he's, he's, in a, he's in a van, behind the wheel of a van, chasing after him he's gonna run over robocop and robocop looks cool i always thought he looked cool when he doesn't have the visor on just weird looking you know, on the, the face stretched you know the skin and all that. anyways he's gonna run over robocop and robocop literally just goes whoop like out of the way like you know like a bull with <laughs> with with the red cape or whatever and emil crashes into this huge fucking vat i guess you would say it, it's covered of toxic waste because it's Detroit in fucking 1986 or whatever this was because you just had to have that there in Detroit. And what's really cool is you see the back of the van open up and all this toxic waste and gunk and, and disgusting like water pours out. And then you see Emil just kind of roll out. Then when he gets up, he looks fucking gross. His face is literally sagging, melted, eyeball kind of popping out. His fingers disgusting you have the skin both peeling off and you kind of see the fingernails but you still see the bone and stuff like that but then you also see like the strands of the of the skin hanging and he's walking around i think the reason why i was kind of uh, inspired was recently for two bearded losers we talked about uh, jason takes manhattan and we kind of talked about how jason was walking around with um after getting toxic waste splashed on his face and frenzy said well it made me think of robocop you know a better movie Emil's walking around, he grabs Ray Weiss, I think it's Ray Weiss, the guy from Keepers Creepers 2, who is another member, and he's just disgusted, get away from me man, that whole st stuff, and then, you know, um, Clarence Boddicker, he's being chased by I think the cops or whatever, and literally he looks at Emil, says oh shit, Emil just stands there, and then boom, he is hit with the car, and he literally, has, he explodes, and then we have this funny shot, really cool disgusting shot of Right next to Clarence, we're looking at the windshield, and the windshield's just covered with goop and just dis disgustingness. And I read, apparently what they did is they filled balloons up with anything left over from um, catering. Rotten, you know, food that was, you know, in the trash, soup, vegetables. And they literally filled them up with the balloons, and they threw it at the windshield. So you got that disgusting, nasty, brown liquid. And it's neat if you pay attention, when you see a meal hit, his head literally comes off his body and like rolls up the windshield. So that's it. Fun, hilarious, disgusting. That's Robocop. That's my death for Bloody Sunday. Um, feel free to join, participate, do it however you want. No commitment. Obviously, it's fucking YouTube. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Click the bell. Comment below. Is this your favorite death or the most memorable death in Robocop? Do you have a different one? All that jazz. Um... Feel free to participate. I'm going to try my best to punch, punch, try my best to pump out new content for you. Got a couple things planned. We're getting back into the Phantasm series. Got a couple, uh, 
unboxings for you finally um that's it cheers